um, my friend who actually invited me out here to play with the Stanford Slork, which is the uh, laptop orchestra, is here, to, came tonight. And he um, is one of the guys that develops like amazing things for the, these platforms. And what they do there, he's going to tell you more about it, is they develop their own music apps. And, uh, and then they have this performance, and they all perform using the instruments that they've developed. So uh, he's here, and, uh, and we're going to enjoy listening to him show one of the apps that he just made for this performance that I'm going to be a part of, actually, on Thursday night. I'm very honored to be part of it. So please welcome Yuri. He's going to come up and show you how to talk about Hello, everybody. Hello. Right. My name is Uri Nieto. I come from Barcelona in Spain. And now I'm a graduate student at Stanford at the music department. Uh, the music department there has a special place called Karma, which is the center for computer research in music and acoustics. And there is where the Stanford Laptop Orchestra is placed, and also the Stanford iPhone Orchestra is placed. There we have a very special prof professor called Go One, which is one of the founders of uh, SMULE, uh, which is a company based uh, in, the, in Palo Alto, where they developed uh, the Rock Arena for the iPhone, which most of you will probably know. And almost more recently, they developed the uh, Magic Piano, which is this nice app for the iPad that has a strings piano. That it's can, amazing. That uh, app. Uh, I saw your video there yeah, playing with it. Cool. Yeah, really cool. <laughs> uh, so uh, what I'm going to do is present you are just a couple of apps that I developed uh, once I with Professor Gerwan for one of his, these courses. Uh, the first one is for the iPhone. Uh, it's called the Vox Carina. Uh, my idea is, was using the Ocarina idea, but instead of having to blow to the Ocarina, you have to modulate the sound using your voice. Just like a talk box or something like this. That's what I call it like the, uh, Vox Carina. Uh, I'm going to show you how it looks. It looks mostly like the, like the Ocarina. And uh, the main idea is that you just press here, and it sounds like this, but you have to put it in your mouth to modulate <laughs> the frequency that come out with your mouth, which is a, a perfect uh, analog vocal uh, filter. So <laughs> put the mic here. <laughs> <laughs> this is a very simple app that, that I developed for one of these courses, but I can uh, I like it because it's very easy to to just you have it on your iPod, in iPhone. It's very easy to, to show it to your friends, so they're like, oh wow! So you're analyzing the the voice and then you're you're modulating the the sound. No, no, it's just your vocal track. You have your, your all your ability to filter sounds with your vocal track, and that's what you're doing when you're talking. And I think it's pretty much a, a nice idea, and I want to upload it to the to the Apple Store. One day it will be there hopefully soon. <laughs> and then I'm going to show you the, the kind of a bigger instrument that I've been developing. As I as I said, I come from Barcelona, uh, from the university where they, they developed one thing called the React Table. Uh, is it a, this is a, a huge table uh, that you put different pieces on it, and each piece has a different uh, sound. Uh, you can synthesize sound, you can uh, filter these sounds, and then you can see the, the waves that are generated in, the, in this table. So it's a pretty uh, complex device. You have a camera that's analyzing all the pieces, uh, then you have uh, the PA coming out, you have all these <coughs> graphics uh, generated in the table, you have all these pieces. So it's a pretty uh, complicated instru instrument to build, but uh, they're trying to, to manufacture them, them now. But what I try to do is to use the power of this new device, the iPad, and develop like a virtual uh, version of the React table but I call it the uh, React Pad. So this is the React Pad, and how it works is you double tap whatever you want to add a piece, and then you have this uh, menu where you can choose all the pieces from, and right now I'll just start with a basic uh, sign wave. Uh, by, uh, maybe you can't see it, but there's a, a line that it, that there's 
sine wave that comes from the piece to the center. Uh, this center would be like the output. Uh, I like to call this I thing that is in the, in the middle, uh, where all the paths go in. I like to call it God, or flying spaghetti monster. Um, <laughs> and then uh, what you can do is, with uh, the pinch, and by rotating the piece, you can change the frequency. There's a little indicator where, that you can see where the frequencies are. And now let's say you want to add a, an LFO, uh, a frequency oscillator. So then you have it here. Mm, you can see it very well from here, but you have uh, the lines of the sounds that you're actually hearing uh, from here to here, from here to here. You can change the depth of the oscillator. And then I want to add here, uh, for example, a sawtooth. I can always double tap on this to raise it. I can add this here. And now I want to add, for example, uh, some sort of a delay. So there's a lot of possibilities here. I just showed you uh, some of them. Uh, we can be playing with this for uh, for hours because I'm still uh, like exploring new sounds with this. Uh, I like I like this sound that I have this gain. I have uh, one delay here, and I have this sine oscillator, and I gradually changing frequency and gain. You're changing the delay length. You can also add here uh, some distortion. And let's say I want to add uh, mic input, which is something you can do with a with a real real table. So now you have this uh, this uh, distortion input from the mic of the of the iPad take out the distortion and that would be a uh, normal uh, mic that is just using the, the, the input of the iPad. But I can add here this delay. I can create nice sounds with this. We're also trying to do some. depending on the pieces that you have here. And uh, also you can uh, go to the, to the settings and change the, the, the note that you're on, the key, and uh, if you want a major uh, chord, minor chord, uh, augmented, diminished.